Okay, the difference between economic and statistical significance is best shown um, using an example. So let's say we have the example of wages okay, equals to a linear function of education. Okay, and so we estimate this regression, we punch this into Excel and it gives us the following output. Okay, so we get ten dollars is the intercept term and maybe two dollars is the slope coefficient. Okay, now suppose we also have, we know the p-values of these beta estimates. So suppose the p-value here is 0 0.01 and the p-value here is 0 0.0 0.001. Okay, so what does this mean? This is a very small p-value. So this tells us that two dollars, okay, this estimated coefficient is statistically significant. So a small p-value, remember, means that the coefficient is statistically significant. A large p-value means the coefficient is not statistically significant. So what this means is that this number is not random. Is that, that if we were to resample we would always get a slope coefficient that's close to two dollars. Okay, so that's what statistical significance means. So it means that this two dollars here means something. It's not just a random number. Okay, now what's economic significance? Economic significance looks at the size of this number and interprets it in relation to wages. So economic significance is every year of education will lead to a two dollar increase in wages. Now, is that large? Is a $2 increase in wages for every year of education big or not? That's economic significance. Statistical significance is looking at the p-value and, te and tells us whether this $2 occurred randomly due to sampling variation or whether if we were to resample, is this coefficient always going to be close to $2? Now, how could this, in this model, how could this be statistically insignificant? Well, if we have a big p-value, we get a p-value of 0.25. This is a relatively large p-value, so usually we compare it to a 5% level. So this is a large p-value, 25%. So therefore, the um, estimated coefficient is statistically insignificant. This is pretty much just a random number. If we were to resample, this number could change significantly. So we can't take this number seriously. Okay, now. How could this now, now how could this be economically insignificant? Well economically insignificant could be suppose we estimated it to be one cent. Okay, so now for every year of education your wage will go up by one cent. Now does that is that a big number? Would you pursue a PhD and do an extra eight years of education? Um, knowing that one year of education leads to your wage increases increasing by one cent. Well, that's economically insignificant, right? I wouldn't do a PhD <laughs> if um, if I knew my wage would only increase by one cent per year. Okay, hope this helps.